Dr. Diana Kohalik's research team at Laurentian University has been supporting young people in the Sudbury area for a number of years through HAP. HAP is a holistic arts-based mindfulness program for youth with diverse needs. The objective is to teach youths who are experiencing challenges with schooling, mindfulness skills to improve focus and coping. John Kabat-Zinn explains that mindfulness means paying attention in a particular way, on purpose, in the present moment, and non-judgmentally. The use of multiple art mediums including drawing, painting, pastels, sculpting, and using sand allows youths to explore unique ways of expressing themselves. It can be challenging to engage marginalized youths in any intervention. Arts-based methods help the youth experience mindfulness while participating in enjoyable activities. The youth say that the program is a highlight in their day. They are glad to arrive and often wish the program was longer. HAP is a secure environment where the youths can create social bonds. Many of the youth face similar challenges but believe they are alone in their struggles. A sense of belonging is important for youth who feel isolated. Each session includes a game, art, group discussion, snack break, mindfulness activities, and a rock close to summarize what we liked, learned, and found challenging in the group. In HAP, we use a jar of water to represent our mind. We then share our thoughts and feelings in the form of beads. The jar is shaken and we discuss the difference between when our racing minds are full and when we are mindful. In another activity, participants are encouraged to draw themselves as trees and then describe how their drawing represents them. Six years of research have demonstrated that not only is HAP fun, but it may be contributing to decreased emotional reactivity in youths. Previous iterations of the group have focused on children in foster care and children who are involved in the mental health system. Qualitative results suggest that HAP is perceived to have a variety of benefits among youth. It may improve attention, compassion, executive functioning, optimism, social competence, and resiliency, the ability to bounce back in the face of adversity.